एवरीवन दिस इज द लास्ट चैप्टर ऑफ योर सब्जेक्ट डिजाइन ऑफ रेनफोर्स कॉन्क्रीट स्ट्रक्चर सो स्टूडेंट्स द नेम ऑफ चैप्टर इज डिजाइन ऑफ वॉटर टैंक सो दिस डिजाइन ऑफ वॉटर टैंक इज डिजाइन विथ द यूज ऑफ आई एस थ्री थ्री सेवन जीरो पार्ट टू टू थाउजेंड नाइन so the first question is what is the function of water tank so the water tanks are used to store to tide over the daily requirement because you all know that in our water tank we have to store the water because water is the most important daily requirement in any human's life okay so water tanks are used to store water to tide over the daily requirement of water by localities industries campus towns and cities etc so students this chapter is very most important chapter because in the gtu 20 to 25 percentage of weightage of your chapter water tank but there are three types of water tank in your syllabus based on their location it means your water tank is underground below the base of ground so it is called as underground water tank second one is water tank which is raised on ground so it is called as resting on a ground water tank and last one is elevated water tank so you can see that in this figure this is your raised on ground water tank this is your underground water tank and these all six types of elevated water tank in which in your syllabus there are mainly three types of elevated water tanks are there first is ins tank so this is the ins tank type of water tank so you can see that this ins tank type of water tank is resting on columns so this is vertical component is column and this horizontal component which connected with the column is called as bracing now second is round is circular elevated water tank and third one is rectangle or square elevated water tank so three these three water tanks are useful in your syllabus now second type of water tank is underground and last one is raised on ground so students in you can see that in general in underground water tank and in raised on ground under tank there are mainly two types of shape first one is rectangle and second one is circular okay so this is the main funda and main introduction of your last chapter which is the design of water tanks now after that what is the main functions and which criteria are fulfilled while we have to designing any water tank so the tank is supported on staking staking means column which may consist of well braced column or an enclosed shaft enclosed shaft means you can see that in this figure this below portion is covered with whole concrete like this if your below portion is covered you can see that this is your shaft this is called supporting shaft okay so apart from strength requirement another essential requirement in the design of water tank is imperviousness so how we have to achieve our strength in water tank so in water tank no use of m20 grade of concrete okay because in water tank there are water pressure acting on the wall of water tank so we have to use richer concrete mix it means m25 or m30 
with the help of M20 concrete, no any water tanks has to be designed as per IS codal provisions. Our second one is provide minimum clear cover of 25 mm to the reinforcement mass. It means we have to provide it minimum clear cover of 25 mm at the periphery. Okay, third one is use smaller diameter of bars at closer spacing. Fourth one is keep the tensile stresses in concrete low. And last one is follow good construction practices like thorough mixing of concrete, good compaction and adequate curing. So students, this fifth point is very most important while we have to design any water tank. Okay, now in the next slide, we are moving further to the some main five important stresses which are useful while we have to design any water tank. So let us start. We have to introduce our permissible stresses. So this permissible stresses of concrete and steel is given in IS 3370 part 2 2009. So in IS 3370 part 2 in table number 1. So first of all, stress, the word stress. So the stress word is denoted by sigma. You all know that. So you can see that this is your sigma. Okay. But what is the sign of this table? So permissible concrete stress. Stress means sigma. Concrete means C. So Till now, it is sigma C. Now, moving further to the permissible concrete stress in Newton per mm square in which tension due to bending. So, bending for B for bending and tension, T for tension. So, our whole short form, whole abbreviation is sigma C B T. It means permissible stress sigma C concrete B bending and T tension. So our permissible concrete stress in bending due to tension. Okay. So this column is useful and it is denoted by sigma CBT. Say for example, if in the question, it is clearly mentioned that use M30. And in this chapter, whenever there is no any clarification regarding you have to use M20, 25 and 30, then we have to use M30 as a standard. So, say for example, for M30, our value of Sigma CBT is 2. Now, this is direct tension. It means sigma for stress, C for concrete. Direct tension means direct T. So, our sigma CT is equal to 1.5 for M30 grade of concrete. Now, let us start moving further to the table number 2 in which there is already short form. But, you can see that sigma for permissible stress, C for concrete, B for bending and C for compression like that. Bending tension. So this is bending compression. So in this table, it is sigma CBT, T for tension. But in this table, sigma CBC, C for compression. And in this table, it is tension. And like this direct compression in this table it is direct tension so this is denoted by sigma cc and in this table it is sigma ct okay so this is our four main permissible stress first one is sigma ct which is equal to 1.5 for m30 grade of concrete 
second one is sigma cbt is 2 for m30 grade of concrete third one is sigma cbc which is equal to 10 for m30 grade of concrete and last one is sigma cc it is equal to 8 for m30 grade of concrete so this is your table number one and table number two now we are moving further to the table number four so you can see that table number four is permissible stresses in steel so permissible stresses means sigma and you all know that whenever the water is in the water tank the water is acting like this so your wall is acting as a tension so you can see that your tensile stress in a member under direct tension bending and shear so if we have to use plain rounded milestone means fe250 for fe250 we have to use this column and for fe415 we have to use this column okay so permissible stresses in steel is denoted by sigma for permissible stress s for steel and t t for tension because our reinforcement is mostly in a uh, tension okay so it is denoted by sigma as t so this is the permissible stresses in concrete as per IS 3370 part 2. Now moving further, our very most important theory is enlist and explain various types of joints in water tank. This theory is in the GTU question in each and every exam. Okay, so students there are mainly three types of joints. First one is moment joint. Second one is construction joint. And last one is temporary open joint. So now we are moving further to in detail. So our first joint is moment joint. So in moment joint, it is clearly written as this require means moment joint is required the incorporation of special materials so students there are mainly two types of material in water tank first one is steel and second one is concrete now in order to maintain water tight net while accommodating relative moment between the side of the joint so in the moment joint there are another three types of joint so this another three types of joint is discussed like there are flexible joints of our three types so first is contraction joints second one is expansion joints and last one is sliding joints so students what is the difference between contraction joints expansion joints and sliding joints so the difference between these three joints are discussed in the later it means it is discussed in the next lecture so in today's session it is our introductory section of water tank design so in the water tank design we are discussing about there are mainly three type of water tank first one is underground overhead and rest on ground after that we are moving further Two, there are main five points which are take care while we have to design any water tank. After that, we are moving further to some permissible stresses of concrete and steel. And at last, we are moving further to the end list and explain various types of joint. So this is the revision of today's session and this is the end of today's session. Thank you.